Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to day six of ten tips for ten days. Aisha radiallahu anhu narrates that the Prophet sallallahu he mentioned that there is no deed more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the days of Qurbani and the spilling of blood of animals. The animal will come on the day of Qiyamah with his hair and hooves to be weighed. So we should ensure that we give a good Qurbani. Another hadith mentions that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in a hadith that the finest qurbani is rich in price and fat in weight. Basically, the animal we give shouldn't be a cheap animal, shouldn't be a weak animal. So these hadith show us that when we're giving qurbani, all qurbanis are not the same, or the hiya is not the same, that it should be a good in price, and should be fat in weight, it should be a good animal. Another hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned that the greatest day in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the day of Nahar the 10th. The 10th when the Qurbani is done. So dear brothers and sisters, this is just a reminder that when choosing your country for Qurbani, don't always give to your own country, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and just look after own. As a ummah, the Prophet ﷺ describes the whole ummah as a body. Yeah, the head hurts, the whole body hurts. So we know in the last six, seven months, the situation of Gaza and Palestine. For the last 10, 11 years, Syria, the Rohingya Muslims, Yemen, the famine in Yemen. Look at these countries. I understand these countries, the Qurbani animals are slightly more expensive. But dear brothers and sisters in the UK, we eat meat all year round. We only give Qurbani once a year. It may be 50 pounds, it may be 100 pounds, but if we all opt for a cheap Qurbani, which I'm going to say is a cow in India at 100, 110 pounds, works out to about 15 pounds each. And I understand it's become like a tax and a burden, so we just give the 15 pound, we don't care about humanity, we don't have any sympathy in our hearts for people who don't eat meat all year round. Just let that sink in, there are Muslim families in Gaza, in Yemen, in Syria, who don't eat meat all year round. So let's dig deep, inshallah, and give a good qurbani. And inshallah, on the day of Qiyamah, this qurbani will give testimony for us and will weigh heavy in our scales of good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you and I. Ameen.